The Features of a River System An Introduction The wet part of a river is called the river channel. This is the part that holds the water. A river flows from its source to its mouth. It is sometimes thought that a river flows from the sea inland. In fact, it flows from the source, which on this example is indicated by the circle, to its mouth, which is shown by the square. The river will flow from the source to the mouth, and the mouth is often at a sea or a lake. Rivers do not flow in straight lines. As they move along their course, they meander through the landscape. Meanders are caused by different strengths of rock along the river's course. You can see some meanders here. They are the bends in the river channel. A river does not stay the same size along its course. From its source to its mouth, more water is added, and some of this comes from tributaries. These are other rivers joining the river channel and form part of its river system. Here you can see a tributary shown by the arrow. On here, there are some tributaries joining the main channel, adding more water to it. So that's the introduction to some of the vocabulary we'll be using during our learning journey to learn more about rivers and river systems. The words we've learnt here are meander, which is a bend in the river, mouth, which is where the river flows out into a lake or into the sea, the river channel, which is the part of the river that carries the water, source, which is the beginning of the river, and tributary, which is another river that adds water to the main river channel.